Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here with a quick Dollar Tree haul and a notebook share and a Kyla update. First, I went to a Dollar Tree that was upgrading or whatever, they was changing their planogram around or whatever, and I saw so many new things, so I had to re-up on some office supplies. So they had these correction tapes, which you guys may already have them in yours, but I didn't have a lot of the jot stuff that everyone was was hauling so I was so happy to see that they had all this new stuff so I got some correction tapes for off my um, desk supplies I got some sticky notes lined and unlined and I also got some more paper clips now we already already had these paper clips but I got more somehow my paper clips grow feet and walk away probably because mines are colorful and they're not silver like everyone else's but I bought some more paper clips for um, my desk so those are just some things I want to share in case you guys don't visit that aisle in the Dollar Tree. I love the correction tape. I also got these notebooks, or not notebooks, but these um, file folders. They're so pretty. I saw Crafty Cakes haul these, and she had a great idea to cut them and use them with your dies. So they only have four of this beautiful shabby chic rose design. It's an opaque folder, so you can see right through it. This She suggested that you use them on your dies and I use it on my thinnest dies that I get from China um, so it does cut I had to run it through twice um, or you can use an extra matting um, plate but so it does cut I just cut out a quick little star and um, so that was fine but you can also use it for your boxes like when you're making boxes and you need that window you can use it for that and shakers so I thought these were super cute um, so little opaque folders really cute and I got four of those because they had a lot of other ones but this was the only um, these are only four they had in the style I got some of these reversible sequence bins they are just so cute and they came in a few different colors and two different sizes so they come in this long and then this short so I do use bins in my craft space to put my stuff in so I will be replacing some of my smaller bins with these reversible sequins because they're so pretty so it's, you swipe it you know one way and it's one color you swipe it the other way so I got four of the longer rectangles that are nine by seven and seven inches tall and then they only had two of these smaller ones which they both say the same thing so I guess it's not nine by seven because they both have the exact same picture on it but one's shorter and one's longer so I got those thought they were super cute I also got some sequence pillows I gave those to Kyla already uh, she's rubbing on them all day but they're really cute so if you're decorating your room in the shabby chic these are definitely a great um, eye-catching thing to make your room pretty I also picked up a few of these um, mugs I uh, love getting the ones from the Dollar Tree because one they're a dollar but, but they have a whole white section and I am making somebody another um, foil mug that I'm going to put you know some stuff on for them so um, if you haven't seen that video I'll link those below on how I do the foil mugs. so I bought a few of those they had replaced the empty space in the fastener dots they didn't have but the roll fastener they come in a little roll um, but I like the dots so when I'm making these are good for making closures on like your envelopes and little um, pockets and things like that in your mini album so you get 20 pairs so I got two of those they had a bunch of new stickers and I, I hardly ever buy their stickers because I eh, but um, in this section in my Dollar Tree um, but these were super cute it has like a girl a girly teen fashion um, theme and it was really cute that'd be good for stuff that I make for Kyla so really really cute and um, it may go with the new LL paper that I got so when I'm making stuff for her with that paper these may go with that so but it, if it doesn't they're cute all by themselves so I got one pack of those they have these really cute stuff adhesive stencils look at the designs on here really pretty and um, you can use this for backgrounds on your card. You can use some texture paste and paint or paint or spray or whatever and put um, on your paper. And then you could have this stencil on there. So I thought those were super cute. And these are the two designs that I picked out. There were four, but I just got these two. I got some of these really cute pencil pouches. They're rectangle 
and you of course you can put them in your binder uh, but they have a nice pocket in here and they are sequence material on the front um, so they had them in blue yellow um, there was only one pink so I didn't get any of the pink I just got the one that I could get the most of um, so if I'm doing a swap um, these would be cute because usually you know my swap groups are groups of five you make four so I got four of the blue um, and I thought they were super cute you can alter them on the front or the back and or leave them plain so I thought they were adorable you can hang your little information from these eyelets so just a quick idea I've never seen them there before but like I said they're doing a whole new situation so I was happy to be a part of it <clears throat> I also got these pencil pouches and Kyla wasn't with me when I went to the um, store but she um, loves this glitter it's a glitter shiny material um, plastic I don't know it's, a, it's vinyl maybe and it's really cute they have pink blue and green so um, I got the pink and blue she can pick one I can take the other one back but or give it to her cousin but um, I got this for her uh, pencil pouch for school because she's all I know she's gonna do unicorny stuff so this would either one of these would match perfectly with whatever it is that she's going to um, have in her folder but this would match so I got two of these last but not least they had their 2019 planners out um, so they got I got the weekly planner I only had one of these so I was gonna get two, you know two and two and two but they have the weekly planner and they have the monthly planners out in this size so I got three of those to start the 2019 uh, notebooks that I'll be making and um, I usually have them for sale on my Etsy um, and then I have the slender ones for the slimmer books for the 2019 uh, one of these will be replacing uh, my notebook but I do have two more to make because I don't plan on making a whole bunch but I did want to grab some before they start to disappear um, it, later on at the end of the year and I can't find any so that's that so that's the end of my Dollar Tree haul but these planners bring me to another point so let me show you these travelers notebooks that I made so the first one I made is for myself I posted this on Instagram yesterday or the day before um, to show you guys a couple videos on there so you may have seen this already but I wanted to share with you my new planner and this is what's going to be um, one of these notebooks will be replacing the notebook that's in there already so um, this is using a planner society um, kit you know I was subscribed to them for a while and I start collecting these kits and I wasn't doing any notebooks with them I use my notebooks longer um, instead of doing a monthly one so I make them and then I'll move on when it gets filled and you know when I'm starting to replace stuff I move on to make it another one so I made one in the beginning of the year January and I'll post that one down below and so now it's fast forward to August it's I make it another one so um, needless to say I have a few kits sitting around here so here it is it's a personal size I don't know what you call it a planner personal I don't know but it's a little compact traveler's notebook that I keep like I said for the year using that kit and I have some uh, gold elastic with two beads and these are the same beads from my previous planner it just I like simplicity and it helps me to just you know grab the elastic so not too much not too little but cute little dangles on the end of my um, elastic and then the front I I added the journaling spot to the paper before I laminated so it's one long uh, piece of paper so it's not messing up anything in my in my purse so really cute I love this paper paper is so pretty this is my second favorite the first favorite I made with the first notebook but really pretty paper and so on the inside I have a pocket cute pocket says planner girl on the inside this paper was double-sided so that's awesome I also added the stickers from the collection in there aren't these stickers pretty like super super cute I love them so they're gonna be decorating used to decorate my book and then of course your girl had to include a shaker I love this element I'm gonna hold these pearls in my hand um, so they don't drag but I love this element look how yummy that sequence mix is it's all kinds of colors in that mix and it's perfect uh, a perfect match for the book look at it 
so pretty just a little bit to add some interest and then I added one of the journaling spots the tape I taped it on the back on the inside of this lab of this um, laminate I added some of the washi tape from the kit and it says girl you totally got this like what a great inspirational message to open up your planner too so with this fun shaker super cute and on the back since it's a journaling spot one sided the other side you can see this tape so I just cut a piece of paper from the collection to match and laid it on top it had some post-it notes that came with it little glow post-it notes so I added that to that I write little things on there and I can stick it to the back of this acetate sheet so that I can plan it in the planner like I'm like oh shoot I gotta do um, I gotta mail out so-and-so so I'll just put right here mail it out peel it off stick it on the back here so that later when I get to sit down and do my planner, I can fill it into my pages. So I love having that there. This bow came from um, a swap from, I don't even want to guess. I'll put it down below. You guys haven't seen the swap videos yet, but I've mailed out three groups already. So those reveals should be coming this week. But this is one of the bows that one of the, recip one of the participants made. I just made it into a, a paper clip. Um, adding a gold paper clip to it and then I added some vellum uh, to the inside of this page this acetate page so you know add some fun stuff and the vellum is from the kit another journaling spot says today is the perfect day to start living your dreams this is on top of the um, the calendar so which is the same calendar I showed you guys from the Dollar Tree haul and then I just fast forward it added some tape to the dates that I didn't need instead of ripping it off and making it ugly I added some tape um, to it and then some washi tape to cover it to fast forward to um, you know where I am right now in the in the days and then I have um, my page marker which is vellum that I laminated super cute and then I added one of the tabs that says today so that when I put it in there I know exactly where I am I can just flip it open to that page and then this is the rest of the um, this is see I already got the AT swaps already ready this is the rest of the calendar okay so here um, this says one year equals 365 opportunities I added the to do at the top because it's my first notebook and I obviously I've started I'm like oh shoot I can't put too much information in. I gotta show it so I don't want it to be all raggedy but um it's my to do and it's YouTube I put one of the tabs on here and then put YouTube there and then the next few tabs it says plan and let's see and then I have that's it and then on this notebook I just have notes and I have schedule as my first tab and then I have my lists as my second tab and then finally well not finally on this side I have my pen and this pen came in the kit and I used a binder clip and some elastic to hold it all together it doesn't have a, um, a little clip on it what am I trying to say I could have just slid that out would have been easier it doesn't have a little um, catch clip but that's fine because I made my elastic tight enough to be able to hold my pen really easy and then here is a folder that I made um, using the paper collection that was in there really cute folder I added some gold washi tape to help reinforce that um, elastic that's there because it's just you know folded over a piece of paper and in here I have just ideas of um, you know stuff that I'm doing and, and a love note from my husband but that's that so that's the end that's the back and it's really cute I love it fits perfectly in my purse and then I made one more for Kyla this one's so cute this is the one I made for Kyla and I posted this on Instagram before I posted the other one and um, so here's a little update so I'll mix these two together so <clears throat> no I'm gonna show you the notebook first here we go so so I can get through the video so this is the one I'm giving for her it's to record and journal um, for her journey her upcoming journey that she's going to be having so I used all the things that she got from everyone um, in these recent times to make this journal for her I wanted to include as much 
stuff that people sent to her so she can have just a packed full of love um, notebook. So I can't tell you all the things that came from everywhere, but all of her Kyla Hall video, or Kyla Rack videos, you'll see these things that people gave her. So um, she has a tassel from the Dollar Tree. Um, so that I added to the side that was in her box, added to the side, and I used gold elastic, which was gifted. Everything was gifted, but the pen and binder clip. So all of it, elastic sequence clips, everything was gifted to her. So this paper, um, it's a combination of two people uh, who sent paper and it's really cute on the front. I have the shells cause she likes unicorns, mermaids, rainbows, glitter, sprinkles cupcakes you know just all the girly things that you would think of as a little girl she's totally into so this journaling card was perfect it says be mermazing and it's a, a color uh, mermaid so I was like oh that's perfect so I added that on top of the seashells um, this this glittery foil seashell paper and then on the inside she has a clear pocket that I added and um, here are some of the little tags that came in one of the kits that she was gifted really pretty tags and some washi tape samples on that opaque this is another idea for that Dollar Tree um, folder you can wrap washi tape around it and gift it third idea for those folders but just thought of that so yeah this is um, on the inside of this pocket you can use for just throughout the notebook and then I made her a super cool awesome yeah super cool awesome sequence look how pretty this sequence mix is and here it says um there's a unicorn in here that says follow your dreams in there first unicorns upside down now but i added some silver shiny um mirrored washi tape but look at this fun fun sequence mix lots of stuff in there even the sequence has shells like shells and hearts and they're so pretty She's gonna love that and hers is bigger of course and she I didn't make her small like mine so that's that fun sequence yeah she's gonna have fun time with that <clears throat> and then I have some post-it notes on here um, for her to be able to just use or whatever if she use it like I do or think of things she thinks of so put that there and then I put the rainbow paper um, can't see with this glare I put the rainbow paper behind that pocket and look at her unicorn cover it's so pretty I used just a regular um, um, piece of paper from the 12 by 12 paper collection I know this paper came from Audrey um, and I used some of the washi tape that came as from the sample as the little um, just a little reinforcer on the side there and then uh, these came from another paper pack it's die cuts so I added this unicorn and the sentiment says I believe in unicorns because she does um, so that's her folder and super cute that's the washi tape and then yeah she has two nice size pockets shimmery foil pockets in there and then um, here's her page marker one of the papers had this beautiful unicorn on it so I laminated that and it's double-sided unicorns on the, I mean you rainbows on the back unicorns on the front and then um, there were some stickers that she was gifted that had this really cute little cloud with glitter around it I thought that was so cute so it was a sticker so I just added some paper to the back and then added a clip to it so she can um, put a paper clip wherever but that's on there that's her page marker and then here is her here's the pen and uh, binder clip here on the side that I attached for her and on this binder clip I even um, added some rainbow washi tape to the bottom of the pen and then this this uh, is just a regular uh, composition notebook small composition notebook that I added four pieces of paper to it so I added this sparkly um, polka dot gold polka dot then I added to this to this leg I added this um, unicorn paper really pretty unicorn paper with sprinkles and polka dots in the back and then since this wasn't long enough to do the front and back I added to merge the two papers together I added a purple strip of um, paper and then I added washi on top of that strip so there's the one two three and then the washi strip because this paper was like a thin it wasn't a, it was a narrow 
piece so I had to do the front and the back of it so that's how I had to make it stretch really cool idea that makes that paper stretch and then I have a another clip up here and it's a unicorn sitting on top of a cupcake with a glitter bow like it's like everything with sprinkles on it so I added that added some paper to the back just fussy cut around it um, because it's a foam sticker and then I added a paper clip to it so that was just you know added on here she can use it for whatever and then that's the inside of the back so cute and close that up really cute I know she'll love it she doesn't she hasn't seen it yet but I'm gonna show her I want to do the video first so um, speaking of this notebook and why she why I'm having her use it is because um, this and this is the Kyla update portion of the video so many of you know that are uh, friends with me on Facebook that we just discovered not just um, maybe a year and a half two years um, that she has scoliosis and we didn't know she never hurt herself as a child we did well child checkups they did the check um, on every single time so um, so she fell off the balance beam in gymnastics and hurt her back this is when it first started and um, so you know a day or two had passed and she was still complaining that her back was hurting so I thought maybe we should you know take her in to get um, just to be checked checked on because she you know had been complaining had been like a day and a half or so and she had been complaining about it. It's like just to be sure she didn't crack a rib or it wasn't a bad complaint. She just kept complaining that her back was hurting. I mean, she fell off the balance beam and hit her back. So, you know, it's going to be some soreness. So, um, we took her in to, you know, just check, make sure she didn't hurt a lung or break a rib or anything. And um, they did the next ray to check it out and saw that her spine had a curvature at this time it was only 27 percent of her spine um they said that you need to go see a specialist because we see you know something and she needs to go see some someone about her spine they want, didn't want to say too much but they said a small curvature you need to go get it checked out immediately so we went to we got the referral for the one the first doctor and the doctor you know saw the x-rays and he was like no you got to go straight to the top like you is this is past anything that we can do help for her so we went to the top you know place to go the referral so they started brace therapy and they molded her together with this brace and stuff and um fit her to this hard brace and i put you know little stuff on it to make her decorated vinyl happy spaces and stuff on it to kind of make her feel she went from having to wear the brace from nighttime to the morning to 17 hours a day and if you know my daughter she loves to dance she loves to uh, flip gymnastics. She was in gymnastics. So gymnastics had to stop. She had to wear the brace as soon as she got home from school until she woke up the next morning, you know, taking it off for showers and after dinner because her stomach, you know, food, you gotta, it get kind of tight. So she took it off for a little bit after dinner, put it back on. So um, this, this, the brace therapy wasn't working. We would go in every three months, every two, three months fit the brace tighter like tighter this is a whole full brace because she has two forms of um of um, scoliosis one to make it simple one at the top curves to the left one at the bottom curves to the right so her body started to go from here and started to shifting her back and going this way so it was growing past the brace like the brace therapy wasn't working so finally tell us you need to have surgery because now it had been increasing from the 27 percent then it increased to 36 then it was 42 then it jumped in one month it jumped from 42 percent to 74 percent of her back so she has now a complete s a complete s on her, as for her spine so they're like okay brace therapy isn't working nothing's gonna work surgery is now your only answer because we're trying to wait it out to see if brace therapy works you know she hadn't hit puberty yet he had had no uh, menses or nothing so they were like okay she's growing really fast so let's go ahead and you know be strong on this brace therapy and the spine will start to go up it didn't it just start brace breaking out and her back was hurting more inside the brace because the bones were pressing against it so now we have to do surgery on it. So, so basically, um, I'm gonna get my little post-it note out. She has to have um, a, a fusion. I'll just say that. So, um, this is her spine. 
right? Or this is a spine, but her spine is like this. So it tails out like this, right? So they're going to fuse, take this, take this part out and this part out. They're going to, you know, take all those bones out and put a metal rod in and replace it. So you know what that means to her? No flipping. That's all. I mean, it was a tough time. That's why I'm able to even share right now. But with her and her dad and I, it just was a tough time. So that means no, no gymnastics, no flipping, not a whole lot of dancing because, you know, she has that metal rod. There's not a many, she, you know that she dances. There's not a lot of things that she can do with that. And she just was having a really tough time with it. So that's why I stopped, you know, the videos got less. And then, you know, I'm not doing a swap next month because the surgery is the first week of September. So I said all that to say, um, you know, it is what it is. And I'm thankful to God for, you know, allowing us to even see it and catch it. And we have an awesome surgeon and I've gotten a lot of confirmation from other doctors that I know. So I, we're going to go forward with it. Obviously, we have a choice to be, but I wanted her to have this journal to to document her journey before and after, like her thoughts and her feelings and things like that. And I wanted to have the most unicorn. Sorry, <clears throat> I wanted her to have the most unicorn packed envelope and a uh, traveler's notebook that she could have with love and just packed with all the stuff that you guys sent and stuff in handmade and I just want her to have that so I say that to say if you guys would like to I'm asking if you guys would like to send her a card not happy mail just a encouraging card to know that it's not only family that cares about her you know you guys have been with me since she was five years old uh, when she started when she was five doing videos with me so you know, she's a sweet girl. She's getting in trouble. She's very loving. You guys didn't know her uh, or her that I show. But um, um, if you would like to send her a card, you know, get well, good luck, speedy recovery. Um, that would be so awesome. The um, place that's doing her surgery, she's going to be in the hospital five days. She's going to be out of school for four weeks. And then she's going to go back part-time for the next two and a half two and a half three weeks after that so I will be at home for two months with her I've already taken time off and um, you know to care for her at home but um, I just thought it would be nice if she got uh, cards from um, people out there other than her family to decorate her room the pe like I said the, the people that is doing her surgery said that you know bring these kind of things like it's in their pre-op packet bring some stuff to make your child happy in the room cards balloons or whatever so i thought it'd be kind of cool if people from youtube you know sent her some good get well speedy recovery you know encouraging cards for her to open before during and after the surgery so um the surgery is the first week of September, so I'll put my in my post office box and stuff in the description box if you guys are interested. So that will be really nice and be really cool. So I'll be thankful to whoever sends her any cards. So that's the end of my video. Um, yeah, I'm just going to end it there. Thank you guys so much for watching and like the video if you like it. I will talk to you soon. Bye.